Hi, and welcome back. Um, so we have a pleasure today to speak with Matt Turner, Director of Industry Strategy at uh, Alation. So welcome uh, back, Matt. Uh, we have been uh, having these interviews in the past as well. I remember last year, and we have been meeting ourselves, uh, each other actually, on many of our events. So we are very thankful for the support and all the nice presentations that you do across uh, all of our events globally, actually. Thank you. It's great to be here. And uh, yeah, we, we're, we're, we're recording this right on the heels of uh, Dubai 2030, where I learned a lot thanks to the event you put on. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I know that we have uh, had you introduce yourself before, but just because it's a new video, maybe it's a, it's a, it's a great opportunity to um, present uh, yourself once again. Maybe some new things are happening in your life as well. So. Sure thing. So yeah, I'm Matt Turner. I'm the director of industry strategy. I also head up our partner marketing um, at Alation. And uh, that means that I, I wear a bunch of hats, but overall focus on people helping um, on helping people get the most out of their data, uh, thinking about data strategy, thinking about data culture, um, and thinking about some of these bigger ideas that you and the team with your data summits and other events have really been bringing to the forefront. So Alation is all about making sure everyone can get access to all of their data. And that act and that, that part of the data world um, is a big focus for everyone as we're starting to go from having a lot of data, the difficulties of having a lot of data, and really putting that data into action. Perfect. Uh, you will be joining us on uh, Data Innovation uh, Summit this year as well, where you will be performing a talk. Uh, I believe the title was uh, Sky is the Limit tech, uh, Tackling the Cloud Complexity. What are you? Uh, so is there anything that you want to disclose regarding a session, what you will be discussing or presenting? Yeah. I, I'm happy to share. It's I think it's going to be an interesting topic for everyone. Um, I've been involved with the Data Innovation Summit. Uh, this will be the third year. And so I'm trying to make sure we progress the conversation. We were talking about data culture. We were talking about data chaos. And now we're talking about what's next as people think about all the potential in the cloud, but still have that drive to make sure their data is used. Um, just uh, you know, kind of in a quick outline, we're still there. We're still focusing on making sure people get value from their data that they make big investments in, they spend a lot of time on, and that they can see really makes a difference. So we did we did a survey recently where we talked to a bunch of data leaders and people who talked about having a data culture, being data driven. About ninety percent of them reported they were beating or exceeding revenue goals. So we had this line between data and outcome, but there's a just a similar and it's kind of, we all know, cause we're still having these conversations. There's a flip side that it's also getting harder. Um, my good friend, Randy Bean and the folks do it, they, do, they run um, uh, some surveys at this company called New Vantage. And they found out that data driven numbers are actually declining, uh, you know, uh, or being data culture or having a data culture numbers are actually declining. It's down to nine, 19%. And they've been doing this in, in the past four years. And I think that's really interesting because it speaks a lot about the time we're in where data is exploding. We know data is getting bigger than these enormous numbers we're talking about doubling zettabytes, you know, not 60 zettabytes going to 160 zettabytes. But it's for, for what we do and the data we work with, it's not just the volume of the data, it's the number of systems, hundreds, maybe thousands of systems. I was just, you know, I part of, part of what we talked about uh, two weeks ago was asking how many systems do people, and, and even in, in Dubai and in the banking and, and, and energy sector, somebody said 10,000, 10,000 databases we're trying to get our hands on. Um, that's a big factor, the complexity, the workforce changing, people are taking on new roles that are looking at data in a different way than the traditional just a data engineer, just a data scientist. Turns out everybody across the business wants to get hands on with data. That's a big draw. That's what we talk about. Alation is getting everyone their data. But on the flip side, the experts are harder to keep. So we have to pay attention to this changing workforce that's, that's sort of what, we're all, what we've all been going through the past three years, where data is something that's critical and the experts are harder and harder to access. And all this takes place in an environment where regulations are increasingly complex. The, we know about the personal privacy regulations. In every industry, there's, there's rafts of details in terms of not just for banking, but everybody has to really start thinking about data and the way that they organize. And those regulations don't just 
stay stay static. They're changing. They're increasing. You can hear it after every single regular, every single industry you talk to. They're expecting more, and they're expecting more dynamic. So we have all this, all this stuff that makes it hard for people to get to their data. And in the middle of all that, we're opening up this huge potential with the cloud. Wow. Almost every tool you can imagine can be uh, accessed and put into your organization with a click. Nearly everybody can start moving data around and using fantastic tools to get a hold of it, which is all the upside of it. But given everything I just talked about, it also makes it incredibly hard to understand and realize the value of data. So we've been talking about this with, with our customers, we've been listening, and we've been, you know, data intelligence is what Alation does. It's a big part of moving to the cloud. And what we're hearing more and more is it's a big part of not just moving to the cloud, but making sense of all the different tools you have, all the different places data can go. So we've been talking about the upside of the cloud, but now we're starting to talk about cloud complexity. That's right. one of the real barriers to being data driven. Can you share something about how the data leaders you're working with are thinking about this topic? Absolutely, and I'm I'm actually going to start with some of the the data leaders from 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 you. Um, you know, last year Heinrich talked about harvest and reuse, the strategy of beginning to understand everything, and that's a big part of where we are with cloud complexity. Everybody, you, we, we can't rebuild from scratch. We have to take things where they are but we need to be intentional about what we bring into these clouds, what we use. Um, the data mesh is also another approach. Data leaders talking about new ways of, of, of changing the equation between data producers and data consumers. That's also looking at this core problem where not only do we have a lot of data, but any tool could be used at any time. How do we, how do we make that something that we can govern? Um, but in, and in our world, all of those things kind of talk about individual strategies but we keep coming back to this overall strategy of data culture, a, a, a real plan to, embod to empower everyone in your organization to understand data and put it into action. And when we're listening to them now talk about this move to the cloud, it's really that data culture is the piece that makes it all come together. Knowing right. the right data, giving people access, and also making sure they can understand how to use it. Right, and how does uh, Alation uh plays a role in all of this in helping basically organizations realize all of these goals. Yeah, and, and I, again, we're, we're about data intelligence and I, I think I'm, I, I really would rather, you know, I almost want to talk about some of the experiences that people have had with Alation. So the first is cloud complexity, thinking about when, when I'm making that move, data intelligence can come first. Mm -hmm. um, one, of our, one of our strongest uh, customer advocates, a guy named Anthony Serafin from Texas Mutual, and he says, look, we want to take advantage of these potentials, but we need to have the data intelligence to understand where everything is and then move in a, in a really deliberate and powerful way to the cloud versus to get caught by cloud complexity. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with our friend, Steve Pimblett. He's the CDO of the Very Group, a big retailer, and he is building a strategy around data culture that's going to survive all the complexity that goes on as they move. Um, big part of what Alation does is help everyone get access to data. One of my favorite quotes that I, I just heard recently from our customer at Pfizer, um, which is great because they're all scientists, but what they say is not everybody has to be a data scientist. And so the, the data intelligence can help them really deliver on what it was talking about with the workforce where everybody wants to get access to data. And, and the other big thing that Alation brings to the table is governance. It's a balance. Governance can allow you uh, some great conversations. I'm gonna keep coming back to two weeks ago because I learned a lot of that conference. A lot of great conversations about what the word governor means. It's, it's, it's not a limit. It's actually how to correctly operate something. The idea that, you know, the governor was something a steam engine would have not to explode. That's what it means for data. And that's our approach to it. Um, it's about that, that balance of getting everybody the data and knowing they can use it. Many, many customers, I'd, I'd happened to look at something this morning from Cisco. They're talking about data democratization mm -hmm. and data governance being together, what Alation helps them to actually deliver. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are you looking forward to at the Data Innovation uh, Summit this year? Well, you know, I put this in here because I wanted to, I wanted to uh, wave my own flag for your event. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I'm looking forward to having a great conversation. Uh, part of what we do to bring the word about data intelligence out, it's about education, making people, making sure people understand data culture is something that needs people, not just technology. It's about the community, meeting people, learning from them. And of course, we want to be able to show what Alation is up to. But more than that, 
I'm looking forward to being overwhelmed by the, the amount of great content. Uh, if you've not been to Data Intelligence Summit, um, the, the DIS in Stockholm, prepare for two very, very intense days where there will be too many talks to go to because thought leaders are coming, they're speaking their minds. There's no limits on what people say and, and they are able to come right in those rooms and also just talk to the people that are there that are like themselves. Everybody's talking about innovation and data and you guys do a great job of bringing those leaders together. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, to my experience there and I wanna make sure everybody knows that this is something not to miss. Perfect, thank you so much for today and thank you for the short interview and uh, looking forward to see you in a couple of weeks actually, around six weeks to go. I'm, I'm, as you can tell, I'm really looking forward to it and I hope to see everybody watching this there. Uh, you have a great platform, maybe they don't have to come even in person, but hopefully they make it. Yeah. It's one of my, it's one of the highlights of the last couple of years is being back involved with the data group. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jamad, and I'll see you soon.